Dialogues 1. A personnel problem. Johan hasn't turned up and Stefan is ill. Do we have anyone on standby? I'm afraid not. We're very short-staffed at the moment. Can you ask the shift supervisor to ask one of his team to do some overtime? Perhaps Tommy can stand in for an hour or two until we find a replacement. An electrical problem. What's wrong? There's no power. Have you checked the fuse box? Yes, the fuse had blown and I've changed it, but now the motor keeps cutting out. There might be a loose connection somewhere that's making the safety switch trip. Check the settings on the trip switch. If you can't fix it yourself, call in an electrician. A problem in the office. What's wrong with the photocopier? The toner has run out and there's none in the stationery cupboard. I need to make six copies of this report for the board meeting tomorrow. Ring office supplies and ask if they have any in stock. If they can't deliver this afternoon, I'll go and collect it. Mechanical problem one. What's happened? Is there a problem? I think the gears have seized up. You'll have to dismantle the unit and lubricate the bearings. Do it as quickly as you can, but make sure you top up the oil before you start the motor up again. Mechanical problem two. Why have you stopped production? We've had a few problems. One of the bolts has worked loose and a blade has snapped off. OK. Make sure the power is switched off, then tighten up all the bolts on the unit and replace the broken blade. Why is there oil all over the floor? I think the valve is faulty. I couldn't regulate the pressure and the seal burst. I tried opening the emergency valve, but it was jammed. Clean up the mess first, then fit a new seal and check the valve.